forgive me, this is kind of a hanky setup. Just trying to make it so I can make you guys a video. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm gonna extend this triangle out in such a fashion as to create two similar triangles. So first of all, measuring the distance from P to A. And how am I gonna measure that? Actually, I'm gonna connect really lightly P and A, and I'm gonna extend that side. And then I'm gonna measure, well, where does P start and where does A start? And this distance is an exact measurement of P A. So I'm gonna slide it down, and there's my new point, A prime. I'm gonna do this again but I'm gonna scratch this mark out because I'm not gonna use that distance. I'm gonna use the distance it said from P to B. So here's P, here's B. I'm drawing, oops, lightly, lightly. I'm drawing, I'm marking. That is the exact distance from P to B. Here, that is also the exact distance from P to B. As a coincidence, I ended up on that actual triangle. It happens sometimes. It's pretty cool when it does happen. It's hard to orchestrate though. So now again, I don't like this mark, it's going to confuse me, so I'm getting rid of it. From P to C, I want to measure and mark. So I'm going to extend this side, out, 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 out. And then I'm going to say here is the beginning, and here is C. And I'm going to slide this down, and boom, I am marking from P to C. Now remember, prime means image. This is my pre-image. And I want to now draw my image, the original image. And here we go. Ta-da. Ta-da. And ta-da. Now I do want to measure all the sides, but in order to keep the video short, I'm only gonna show you a pair of corresponding sides. Okay, so this side, AB, has a relationship with this side, A prime, B prime, and it becomes very clear when I actually measure it. So I'm gonna write down AB, and let's see what it measures. So it's hard to do, because huh, my ruler is gonna hit that box. But I'm saying, starting here, that's the beginning of a centimeter. I go one centimeter, I go two centimeters. I am 0.6 of the way into the next centimeter. 2.6 centimeters. Okay, what about this one? Again, it's hard to do because my ruler is going to hit that box. So let's say I'm going to start that at 10 and let's pretend that's zero and I'm going to count how many centimeters out I am. I'm one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, four centimeters away from the beginning, five centimeters away from the beginning at 5.2. Oh, 5.2. Did I count that one right? 2.6 and 5.2. Well, what do we know? about 2.6. You know what? If I double this number, I will get that number. And that totally makes sense because this distance has been doubled, which means that this is not congruent to that. But whatever this is, this will be two times that. Same thing happens here and here and here and here, by the way. Now, one other thing that I'd like to mention is that this angle, it is congruent to that angle. This angle is congruent to that angle. And this last angle is congruent to that angle as well. And this is called similarity. They are similar because I dilated them in this fashion. I forced them to be similar. And when you have similarity, what you have is angle, angle, angle. Congruence but not side congruence. Very cool.